Hey everyone, welcome to Fashion Design with Hannah. Today we'll be going over wedding face masks. And if you aren't already aware, there is a major industry surrounding face masks nowadays. It's such a major industry that it now has categories such as wedding face masks. My journey into looking into the wedding face mask stemmed from me planning to go to at least three weddings next year. If those actually happen is a different question, but for now, that is the plan. So I made myself one face mask that goes with a dress that I'm also making. If you haven't already checked out that video, I am leaving a link in the description below. I also want to make one bride and groom face mask set for at least one of the couples next year. So I already had a few designs lined up, but as any designer would, I looked into the industry to see if there are any trends that I could work into. Now I know during a pandemic is not the best time to be having social gatherings such as weddings, but there are definitely venues and catering businesses, etc. that aren't giving refunds back or allowing a delay or reschedule of the wedding. So you might as well be safe while going to the wedding and having a face mask to wear. So this started out as a slight joke gift and my immediate thought process was to do many representations of Western bride and groom attire. So the bride would get a white mask with a little bit of detail on it and the groom would get a mini comical representation of a tuxedo but on his face. However, in my search, I did find out that there are plenty of people who are making these in a non-comical fashion and they look very elegant actually. Lorena Quinn is the maker behind the first set of masks, and as I was scrolling through her Instagram account, I also came across these beautiful lace overlays. They were also in the color palette that is trending for the 2020 and now 2021 weddings, which brings me to the color palette discussion. One of the top color palettes that I noticed on my feed was the Cinnamon, Dusty Rose, and Blush combo. This is on top of the normal white or off-white colors that a bride is usually wearing. And the second most used color palette that I noticed was Mauve, Dusty Lavender, and Deep Green. This is the color combo that I've seen the most variation of shades being used. However, these are just color palette suggestions. No one says that you have to use all of them, especially since this is just a face mask. As we come back to the trends, you'll see that this lovely couple featured on each and every details Instagram had their face masks customized with Mr. and Mrs. along with their date of their wedding, which I actually find very touching. It makes it more of a memento rather than a burden. I've seen multiple variations of the Mr. and Mrs., including just Mr. and Mrs., along with the bridesmaids and the groomsmen getting their own customized masks as well. As I dug further into my research, I wanted to see if there were any differences between the bride masks and the groom masks. So as you can see here with Stylista, uh, they chose to do a play on sheer. They do this by offering a range of skin tones for the lining so it appears as if there is only lace for the mask. The bridal masks also tend to have more intricacy to them. This includes embroidery, beading, sometimes even sequins or rings. I also find it important to note that the previously mentioned color palettes were more geared towards the United States market. The other cultures around the world have different color palettes that are traditional to their weddings. Some will have more gold or red involved, or both gold and red. Anu with Be Anu Designs actually mentioned that the red and gold mask that you see pictured is actually one of their best sellers. They also mentioned that the brides and bridesmaids were more likely to be ordering the masks. However, that does not mean that the grooms are not ordering their masks as well. The grooms and groomsmen tend to order more simple masks as seen with plum pretty sugar at the top, but that does not mean that that is always the case. As you can see with the other two grooms pictured, they can still have some detail as well, and they might have color palettes that are more specific to their traditions too. 
After doing my trend research, I was planning on doing a video showing my whole process for doing the bride and groom face mask. However, I'm sure some of you are extremely tired of hearing and seeing things about face masks. So if you want to see that video, leave a comment below saying so. If not, I'll put it on my Instagram as an extra. If you haven't checked out my Instagram already, there's a link in the description. But for now, thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Bye! I have a video involving the face mask.